we'll have a look at these side panels now. I'm not going to do a lot to them, but definitely want to give them a wire brush off on the inside and a coat of paint on the inside and do a bit of kind of a little bit of paint on the outside and eventually do some sort of sign writing with the Cobweb Garage logo on. Now the only repair I want to do is on this one, now if you can see there, but there's three holes in the top of this panel. No idea why they're there, but I'm just going to bash those flat, stick a bit of weld on them, and that is about it for, for any alterations or repairs. I'm just going to leave them as they are. I really like the way they look actually, so yeah. Okay, uh, so first job is weld up these three holes, get those smoothed off. Quite pleased with that little bit of welding. I managed to set the welder up just right. I feel like I'm learning something. Didn't blow any holes through this sort of thin metal. So pleased about that. It's not perfect, but obviously the panels are battered and rusty anyway. So the main reason for that was just to get rid of these holes so the rain water doesn't run down between the panel and the loop there and rot it out. Yeah, a little bit of paint is gonna Covered up nicely. So the next job is to, I think, give it a good wire brush off inside mainly and a light sort of sanding off on the outside with the plan to put some signage on these. All right, let's go on with that. Different strokes it takes, different strokes it takes, different strokes for the world. Different strokes it takes, I brought this DA random orbital sander recently. I know most people use them off an air compressor, but I don't want my compressor running all the time. So I've got this electric one. I used it on a bit of uh, woodwork actually recently. Pretty good, but I brought a, like a soft pad, which goes on there. And then you put your sanding discs on that. So I'm gonna give that a go and see if I can Give both surf, both front and back of the side panels a go over with that. Got the inside of the panels painted up. I literally used up whatever paint I had left. So there's some brown there and some black. And yeah, interesting enough, you can, didn't really notice before, but you can see how dented and bashed up these panels are when you put a bit of paint on. But it doesn't bother me in the slightest. So the next job is to do something with the outside, ready to put some sign writing on. Now the plan is with these panels is to keep them looking old, battered, patina finish, but I kind of want them to tie in with the rest of the scooter. So I'm just gonna do some light painting to match the rest of the loop, just around the edges, leave some rust coming through, etc. Yeah, try and be a bit creative with it. So I've put some rust treatment on these panels, but I've not covered the whole panel. I've put it along the edges, which are sort of vulnerable to the rot. And also I'll put it on the areas in, on the side, which would be like less susceptible to rust. So I've left the top surfaces to look a bit more patinaed. And also that gives me sort of fairly good base to put some sign writing on there. But just gonna let that cure now for a bit and then we'll wipe the excess off, see how it looks. Well, he works on a job that lasts till springtime. 
Waits at the door to help the other side And yet his mother moves to a darkest cloud Not turn around, but man, that's the place to hide Yeah, by the bridge, it's over it's Back on these panels, getting them ready for some sign writing And yeah, that's where I've got to so far Use some of that mustard paint, but keep in some of the original patina and I can actually sand back some of this new paint if I want to show more of the uh, old patina there as well. But I want to get the sun right in on there first. Uh, anyway, first thing is, just going to give it a little scuff up with this sort of fine scotch pad, actually from Halfords. But yeah, let's do that first. <laughs> So this is the way I'm hoping to get sign writing done on a budget and basically I've asked the local vehicle sign guy to print off these on vinyl and if you can see there it's basically out the logo, Cobble Garage logo and the letters are cut out, even the drop shadow bits are there. So I've got one for each side of the panel and the idea is I'm going to lay those on the panel, paint in between a bit like a stencil and yeah, budget sign writing. First of all though, I am going to just trim them down a bit so I can position them a bit better on the panels and see how they look. Place that roughly where I think it looks good. It's kind of tricky to get both sides roughly kind of in the same place because of the way the logo works, but I quite like that. The C just on this flat part of the panel, and then the spider web's gonna wrap up there towards the top. Just see if we can see the other side, same thing. Spider's web's going to wrap up quite nicely. The C just about finishes before that transition, so quite like that.
Well, that's the black done, the main lettering, no disasters. I got much sort of quicker and laying it on thicker as I went along. So now it's time for this red drop shadow. It doesn't seem to be quite as thick as the black, but it's quite therapeutic doing this. Bit time consuming, but I've listened to a lot of Dropkick Murphys on the stereo, a lot of old school hip hop and a bit of Northern Soul. Quite a nice job to do when it's damp and windy outside. And I think the plan is I'm gonna finish this red tonight. I'll probably take the panels inside the house where it's nice and warm. That went pretty well. I'm gonna let that dry overnight and uh, try and peel off the vinyl backing. You can kind of like uh, slap it on, but obviously there's just a fine gap between the drop shadow and the, let the letters, so you've got to be pretty careful there, especially with the red, so it doesn't go onto the, onto the black paint. But it seemed to go all right. Yeah, can't wait to peel that off and see how it comes out. So, see you in the morning. Those last images are actually from inside my house. I took the panels in so the paint could cure nice and hard, but I then couldn't resist to peel the backing tape off, of course, that night. And I wanted to just add some bits to it. And I basically put the odd bod. I put some shading in the cobwebs as well, which I think just finishes it off nicely. Obviously, when you're doing the technique that which I use, you know, you can't have like the shading printed out by the vinyl printer. Well, at least I don't think you can. So I left that off the image I gave to the vinyl printer. So I've added those by hand, the shading in the cobweb. I'm actually really pleased with how these turned out, but the sign writing itself is quite shiny, very new looking. So I just want to age the sign writing and I'm gonna use some wet and dry paper. I was thinking about using the uh, DA sander, but it's just gonna create a lot of dust and I, I don't trust quite how much paint it's gonna take off. Just wanted to try and show a before and after sanding. And that is after, which is quite dull. You can see some of the paint just wearing through. And then when I go to this, is the before, you can see what it was like before, super shiny. Just looks a bit like it's just been sign written, <laughs> which of course it has, but yeah, you can see that. And I don't think that quite suits the battered panels quite like it where it just wears through a bit quite pleased with how they look now the beauty of giving them a sand off as well it sort of removed what looked like overspray a bit on the old sort of patina rusty areas and the letters are now kind of a nice matte finish rather than that shiny finish they were before so i'm going to give them a wipe down and then a couple of coats of satin clear coat. looking really good and the clear coat is going hard so in the meantime I want to have a clean up of these embellishers or flashes I'm not sure what you call them 
but these go on the side of the panels. So I've got a bit of wire wall. I've also got my Dremel tool. Might give that a go. But yeah, they're pretty filthy and need a good clean before going back on the panels. Let's get on with that. Cleaned them on both sides there. They're not shiny, but I don't want them to be shiny. I just want them to be cleaned up. Here's the other one. Yeah. So uh, let's get these on the panels, see how they look. These came out lovely. Look at that. The next job is to put these panel handles on. Now these were brand new, but just fiddling around with them, I already threaded the screw that holds them on. So I've drilled through. I saw someone else do this uh, in the Bristol Lambretta Club, put a bolt all the way through. So I've actually drilled right the way through this. Not sure if you can see that. And put a machine screw through with a locking nut so they don't fall off. Because I think the chap in the club, his panel actually fell off in the street because these things came off. pretty dapper the whole panel now has really come together so I want to put those on but just one other little job to do and that is to fit the panel beading on the frame so I've got a new one here in grey to match the cables etc I actually went for Casa Lambretta one because hopefully the quality is going to be a bit better so let's get that on the scoop That's it for this episode of Cobra Garage. I hope you've enjoyed the process I did for my bit of sign writing here. One other thing with the side panels, I keep looking at it and I'm not really digging the two hole cutout thing here. One was the existing kickstart hole and I put a new one in. I might just extend that and make that one. I know everyone's super keen to see the scoot ride down the road, so am I. I have ordered a Carbretta rebuild kit following everyone's comments from the last episode. So I will rebuild the Carbretta and hopefully take you for a spin on the next episode. So yeah, do watch out for that. Thank you for continued support. You can buy Cobweb Garage t-shirts. I'll put the link below, we ship those all over the world. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe share, tell your friends, and we will see you on the next episode. Cheers.